June inflation data out today shows a huge jump that the president calls unacceptably high and also out of date. Caroline Shively is in Washington with what these numbers mean for your grocery bill and your house payment. Inflation cranked up a whopping 9.1 percent in June, the highest yearly jump since 1981. The Consumer Price Index, released Wednesday morning, showed the price of necessities far outpacing raises. This is something that the American people feel every day at the gas pump, at the grocery store, at the restaurant. The price of gas is up almost 60 percent year over year. Rent went up 5.6 percent over last June and food at home and dining out increasing 10.4 percent. If you break it down to just groceries, the annual jump was 12.2 percent. That includes eggs up 33 percent and butter up 26 percent. When you check out, the prices are higher. Everything is just up and up. So it's everything from sort of your basics to even the more expensive items are now even more expensive. The White House arguing earlier this week that the CPI numbers are already out of date. The average retail price of gas was 11 percent higher in June than it was in May. And the cost of gas in July is already down 7 percent from the June peak. This report makes it much more likely that the Federal Reserve will raise interest rates again, trying to bring down the inflation rate to about 2 percent. But that would also mean increased borrowing costs for consumers. Consumers expect much higher inflation. And so that is baked in until the Fed and the, the Biden administration are able to get that back down to 2 percent. The Fed will have to move carefully or risk triggering a recession. In Washington, Caroline Shively, Fox News.